Okay, everybody, and here we go. We are going to do the second response video I told you about. So, like I said, what we're going to do, i uh, got the load of towels in here, and um, the front panel is off so I can show the bottom when it's um, running, just to show you that I didn't make any modifications to it. And we are going to see, you know, will the tub index, and will the stuff not turn over. There may still be a slight bit of indexing, I will admit, in the rinse because of the cold water. But believe me, the, the amount you're going to see isn't going to make much of a difference at all. So let's go ahead and see what we got here, okay? So we got the load of towels, the detergent's in already, and we're all set to go. So let's go. So, um, as, as you know, I'm using... Um, the Tide powder detergent, like I always do. And we're using, uh, let me just show you the settings once again. Um, using the white setting for the longer uh, wash time. Uh, hot water, extra large water size, and maximum soil level, just so it runs for the longest amount of time. And no extra, op extra, op extra options there, all right? So, get a little steamy now, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and give me a second here. I'll take the monopod off. And if you look down here in the uh, drive area, you can see uh, nothing's on the transmission. No, no modifications to the motor or the pump or anything. Everything is all stock. Same thing on the other side, too. And later on, I'll put, I'll put the uh, light on here so you can see, okay? All right, so we are now filling up, and we will get back when it is time for the agitation. Okay, we're just about there, just just about up to the top row. And uh, yeah, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but uh, there's definitely some steam coming from there. So you know that we're using hot water. Yeah, so so let's just see how how this machine doesn't uh, turn over or anything, right? Yep, we all know what the claims are. We got some aggressive action there. Now you can see a little bit of movement on there, absolutely can. But uh, for those of you who, who actually watch my videos, go look at the earlier ones. Do you see um, much going on there? Nope. And look at that, it's actually stopped now. Look, look at that. Look how it's going moving towards the middle now. You see that? Very interesting. But no, no, no turnover whatsoever. And the the seam of the tub is right there, so we'll 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 pay attention to that for right now. Again, I you know I told this guy when the brake fully sets in, this will stop indexing. And like I've told other people in comments, this is just about there. As you can see, for the initial inertia, it gets pushed a little bit, but once it gets going, you can see it's not moving at all right now. You know, things I admit, and somehow, uh, nope, uh, you said something else completely different. Oh yeah, look at this. This isn't turning over at all. Nope, nope, not at all. Oh man, I, I guess I really got uh, busted here. Oh yeah. Hey, look at that, it's not even moving anymore. Uh-huh. And I'm sure even though I mentioned the initial inertia and everything, I'm sure he's still going to say, you know, Oh no, look at that, it's indexing. No, no, machine's no good. It's bad. Uh-huh. Doesn't wash well because the because the indexing. And you're like, you know, uh, yep, it's still going to index forever. Never going to stop. I feel really bad for that Anthony guy. You know, the one he was talking to from the, uh, for the, the service person. Yeah, very sorry he had to deal with him, but oh well. 
Yeah, no turnover whatsoever. Man, those aren't moving at all. Oh boy, that's just too bad now, isn't it? While I'm at it, let me see if I have my light here. Okay, let's have a look down below. And once again, I'll show you that I made no modifications. Just take the monopod off again. There's the transmission. Everything looks normal to me. You can just see it moving back and forth from the agitation uh, inertia. Oh yeah, I definitely, yeah, I'm totally holding on to that transmission right now. That's why there's no indexing. Same thing over here too. Oh well, this looks like it was wrong all along, huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. And you see the belt in the drain pump going. Yeah, see, drain pump is directly driven, like I had said. So even if the belt breaks on this machine, you can still drain the water should you have to, which is very good. And of course, I never once said you can't do that on the direct drive. I always said you could, but apparently, according to him, it's something else. But that's okay. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's go back up here. Yep, see the seam for the tub? It has not budged. Still exactly where it should be. And yep. And, and you know, everyone knows, I've, I've certainly talked about the agitation arc of the direct drive. The direct drive is 90 and this is 180. Which is probably why the, uh, the, the, the single-piece agitator works okay on this machine, because it's 180. If it was 90, it probably wouldn't do as well. And you can still see it right there. You see the seam for the tub? Right there. The soap's kind of interfering with it, but yep. Still exactly where it should be. And let's be serious here, guys. You know, if I'm washing towels like this and the tub only, only had to move with the initial inertia, and now it's not moving at all, I'd say the brake is pretty far set in. Is it completely there yet? No, but everyone who knows my machines know that it's definitely well getting there. And believe me, I don't mind. I don't mind taking the time to make this video for you guys at all. Okay, we will come back in a little bit. Okay, we just we are just continuing to wash along. Uh, the uh, tub seam is still right there. Point out to you guys. Okay. And yeah, just look at those towels go. Yeah, it goes towards the middle. Oh yeah, and a little coming up from the sides. Oh yeah, no turnover whatsoever. So we got six minutes, or just should go to five soon until the first uh, spin drain. And it's so funny. He says, you know, he has no use for a speed queen. Okay, then just don't get one. But that, that wasn't even the initial part of this, guys. The, the initial part was I told Eugene. No, wait. What, no, it was Kirk Revis. I told on Kirk Revis's video that you know. Um, the tub will stop indexing once the brake sets in, and that's where it all started. Apparently, I was very wrong on that video. I was like, no, what are you talking about? That doesn't happen. Yeah. So, um, you can see, he's right. That clearly doesn't happen at all whatsoever. Yep, it's still turning around. No turnover whatsoever. That's how the whole thing started. I will link Kirk's video also in this uh, video as well, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And yes, as you can see from the results of this machine, um, I am very wrong here. This machine is... Coming up on three years, it'll be three years old in October. And uh, yeah, so um, you can see just how wrong I am. Just for fun, let's, uh, you can see the um, the tub and that going back and forth with the agitation. It's pretty cool. Where are we at right now? Okay, 24 minutes, so four minutes until the first uh, spin drain. I just, love how you, I just love when you see this go back and forth and you see the agitation at the same time. I, I just think that, that that's so cool. And once again, if you want to see how this all started, just check out the comments on Kirk's video, which I will link in the video description. 
Now, the whole spin drain and everything isn't does has nothing to do with this whole thing, but I know for you washer enthusiasts out there, um, you'd hate it if I just stopped the video here and then go the whole way through. Don't worry, we're going to do the whole thing. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just, like, trying not to laugh as I watch this. I mean, really. It's hilarious. And, like, you know, another thing he's also mentioned is how, you know, how um, the direct drive can get a ketchup stain out. I always thought it could. I never said it couldn't. And yet, he has a video showing that it does. I never doubted that, that it could. The only difference was he used two Tide Pods and Eugene used one. Did that make a difference? I don't know, but that is a difference in detergent. But again, never doubted anything, and somehow, that just, uh, yeah. I just become a bad person because I now have this machine instead of a direct drive. So, yep, it all starts from there, right? Some people you can just never please, but that's okay. No loss to me. 23 minutes. All right, guys, so we'll, um, I'll stop here, and then just before the spin drain, I'll uh, come back for you. Okay, should be a little bit less than a minute uh, before we get to it. And, yep, still just going. And where's that seam? Uh, yep, right there. See the dark spot? Has not budged. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, and now we will do the first spin drain. So of course, right now, what's acting like a clutch is the belt and the motor pulley, like I pointed out before. So there is a clutch of sorts on this machine, but yes, there's a brake as well. Who knew, huh? <laughs> you see the shaking a little bit. One light towel is the other one out, apparently. <laughs> it's cool when you can see the whole thing like that. That was a good spray rinse. Good supporting suspension, the way it should always be. Looks like we were just about at full speed for low speed. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Alright, let me get a shot of the underside for you. Without a doubt, I know some of you like to see this, so happy to do it for you. There's the transmission going, and the uh, the motor and the belt too. You can see the markings on the belt. Where's it? Yep, going that way. 
other side. That is the transmission right there. Looks like it's doing well. One thing I do love about this machine, I have to admit, is it has a very good balancing system. We've never had anything go really out of balance on this machine, like hit the cabinet or something. So this machine definitely does have that, which is awesome. And there we go, now fill in for the rinse. So like I said, since this is cold water, okay, the fibers may be just a tad firmer than with hot water, okay? So the tub may get pushed a little bit, which I'm openly admitting here, the tub may get pushed just a little bit with agitation. But again, once it's fully set in, like I said, it's almost there, that will stop. You can even see it on my brother's 2014 machine. If you look at that video, that tub doesn't index at all. That machine's from 2014. But they just, they do laundry a lot more often than we do, so they're setting it faster than ours did. Yep, so we'll let this uh, fill up and then we will be back just before the rinse agitation. Okay, we are just about there. And let's see how it handles the rinse. The initial rinse especially. So there may be some movement at first. Yep, there's a little bit there. But now, but now, even though there's a little bit there, is that anywhere near the amount in other videos? I don't think so. Kind of, the seam of the tub is like coming right around the same spot, interestingly enough. But look guys, what do we see here? Um, are these turning over? I, I think they are. Check that out. They can really see the tub moving back and forth this time. So there's definitely more inertia on the fiber from the fibers, you know, when um, what do you call it? When um, when you have cold water. And like I said, even though it is moving a little bit, what are these towels doing? They're just staying in place, right? No, no, oh, look at that! Oh, it's going towards the middle. Amazing! Look at that! And for those of you who, who, who enjoy my videos, you will know that at some points I will have more videos of this machine in the future. And you will see, you know, that um, it's going to do just fine, just like it's doing right now. And these are towels, mind you, okay? If I wash bed sheets or something, that tub's not going to be moving at all, or even just regular clothes. Yeah, look at the inertia on that thing, wow. Looks like turnovers happening. You see that? How it's going towards the middle? And this, this is turnover what? Like three to four times already? How much time do we have left? Alright, so it's going to go to the next spin drain pretty soon.
Yep, totally lacked turnover. Definitely. And now here's the second spin drain on high speed. There's actually a chirping noise you can hear as the, uh, as the, uh, you know, pulley slips on the belt, and you can hear it get lower pitched as it, um, speeds up, because it's slipping less. It's pretty cool, honestly. a little bit. As a, because this machine has a, has a metal outer tub, you can actually hear the water hitting the sides as the tub speeds up, which is which honestly is pretty cool. That, that looks like full speed now. Let's see if I can get the tub and the things going for you here. That just looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and get the uh, bottom shot for you. And here it is on high speed. Well, that looks cool. Well, look at the lighting effect on the uh, on the support there. That looks weird. <laughs> that really does. Or is that no? I think that might be a plastic guard you're seeing. But you see that? That looks really interesting. Now look at the other side. And there's the belt going. Yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> And just spinning along, getting all the water out. What we got left? We got uh, four minutes left. And then we'll be all done. Even though you don't really hear any more water hitting the outer tub, there is a little bit of stuff still coming off because when Jay and I did the video of the direct drive with the cabinet off, you could still see some stuff going on the outer tub as this was spinning with the towels. So definitely still does, does remove some stuff, which is honestly pr pretty cool to see, I must say. But you guys saw, you know, it turned over, right? <laughs> I just made it all up. This is totally photoshopped, right? Mm-hmm. And like I said, I had no problem making this for you guys. I had a lot of fun doing this. My pleasure for you. Glad to do it. A few minutes left. Okay, we'll come back just before the end. Now it'll be just a little bit less of a minute. Maybe I'll stand back here so you can see the tub kind of move in one direction as the brake applies.
<laughs> that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so you guys have it. So you saw turnover and washing. So I guess I was wrong about everything, right? Now please, trucker, by all by all means, you, you go right ahead. Make any make any more videos you want about me. Use whatever slang you want, because at the end of the day, game, set, and match. You lost. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.